Hey guys, so it's Reba and I'm back with another tutorial. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I cut curtain bangs. So when I was working in the salon, um, this is how I used to cut curtain bangs for a lot of my clients. So once we've cut our bangs today, I'm also gonna show you guys how to style them properly. And we're gonna be using our new Dyson Supersonic. Uh, this is the Copper Holiday Edition, and it's so friggin' beautiful. It makes a great holiday gift. And if you buy directly from Dyson this holiday season, they're also gonna be sending over this travel bag and a copper presentation case. So it's actually like a very gorgeous and luxe little holiday gift. So we're gonna start by creating a center part in our hair and you wanna make this as straight as possible. Once you have that, you're gonna go back about two to three inches. So keep your head straight and you're gonna lay your comb on top and wherever it kind of lays flat, that's the top of your head, okay? And that's pretty much like your ideal spot to start your bangs. So now that we found our point, we're gonna go follow the arch of our eyebrow and wherever the arch goes, which is around here, that's where you're gonna drag it to. And create our parting. And then you just wanna go ahead and clip it so that section stays nice and clean and now we're just going to drop it and we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side so we're going to find that little point up top and we're going to diagonally bring it down to the arch of our eyebrow and now we're going to go ahead and clip this side as well so you want to balance it out as much as you can it's obviously not going to be perfect but just do your best so now to make sure that these bangs are cut like nice and clean, uh, you wanna make sure you wet them. So I'm gonna very quickly wet these off camera. So once our bangs are nice and wet, now we're gonna have like a really nice, clean kind of sharp cut. Smooth it out so that it's nice and flat. And we're gonna use our chin as our guide for this. So you want to kind of keep the length around here. So you're going to take your comb and you're going to take it underneath like so, and you're going to take two fingers and grab them like so. Okay. And you're going to go right down to your chin and ah, it's cut. Okay. So now that these are cut, <laughs> You're gonna go ahead and part it back in the center. So now you have two distinct sections and now we're gonna just angle them, okay? And this part is really, really easy to do because it's already naturally kind of angled. We're gonna just kind of like give it a little bit of a layer um, and it'll just kind of give us a nicer sweep. So if I was in the salon, I would just go in and I would freehand it, but I know that a lot of you guys can't do that at home. So I'm gonna show you technically how to do it so that it's just easier to copy at home. So we're just gonna tuck this bang away for now. Okay, behind my ear. And we're gonna take this piece right over here. We're gonna take our comb right up to the parting and you're gonna lay it kind of parallel to the part and you're gonna drag it down in the same angle. And once you get to the end, you'll see that right here where your finger meets the edge, that's gonna be your guide. And you're gonna use that as your point to kind of cut everything else, okay? So we're not cutting this corner bit here. We're gonna cut everything else, okay? So once that's cut, you're gonna go ahead and just drop it and you can see you have this beautiful little angle. See how easy that was? So we're gonna leave that off to the side and now we're gonna do this one. Very easy, nice and quick. So we're gonna go parallel to the part, straight down. And you wanna make sure that your finger and your parting is at the same exact angle. And once you get to the end, right there, you're not gonna cut that last piece. You're just gonna cut everything else in there, okay? And cut that down as well, nice and quick. 
Perfect. So we still need to texturize these bangs, so don't put your scissors away just yet. Uh, but I like to kind of soften them and feather them up once they're dry, just so that um, I can get a little bit more of a softer finish. So I'm gonna grab my Dyson Supersonic and I'm gonna go in with the thicker nozzle for this. And I'm gonna very quickly pop it on. So when I'm styling my bangs, I always go in on high heat and low air because I don't want the, the air to be so um, strong that my bangs are just flying all over the place. So low air for bangs is usually ideal. So I'm just gonna quickly turn it on. And we're gonna take it down to the lowest air setting and the highest heat setting. So we're gonna blow dry them just straight down. Move it around, but for the most part, you just want your roots to dry flat. The reason I always stick to my Dyson is because it's literally the fastest drying blow dryer on the market. It's powerful V9 digital motor combined with air multiplier technology multiplies the air three times for the fastest drying. So within a few seconds, I'm done. So once your roots have dried flat, split it um, back down the center, wherever you want to part it. And I'm going to pop off the rough drying nozzle and I'm going to put on the more concentrated nozzle. This is going to give me a little bit more precise airflow. So now we have two sections and we're going to take one side and we're going to hold it opposite the same way we did when we were cutting it. And we're going to take a small round brush and we're just going to go right to the ends flip it over and start styling. And the reason I like to stick to the narrow smoothing nozzle for this is because it gives me a concentrated, precise airflow so that I have a smooth and controlled styling experience. Once it's set, we're gonna go ahead and release our curtain bang. Look how beautifully it's laying and we haven't even texturized it yet. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Pick up the section, Take it to the opposite side. Just start styling. And I feel pretty comfortable doing close-up styling with this blow dryer because it measures the airflow temperature over 40 times per second to prevent extreme heat damage. Once that's set, I'm gonna go ahead and release. Okay, so now that it's dry and it's styled, we're gonna go ahead and quickly texturize our bangs, grab our bangs straight down and you want to just grab your scissors and cut kind of straight into them like so and this will give you a really soft kind of feathered finish and you want to do this in small strokes don't go too heavy-handed yeah. nice and soft nice and feathered the moment of truth Okay, so now this is kind of optional and you don't have to do this, but if you want to kind of blend in um, some of your face framing bangs, you can do that. So you just grab a few of the pieces that are kind of around your face and you see how there's like a bit of a differentiation in the length. You can just kind of go upside down and just kind of drag it down just so that the bangs blend a little bit smoother. Just gives it that nice kind of finished look. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And then you can just kind of glide it down and blend that in. Get rid of that. It just gives it that nice kind of finish very pretty so now i'm just going to very quickly touch up my curls because they got a little wonky for me uh, clipping them away so i'm going to go in with my dyson corral and if you guys haven't tried this straightener yet make sure you do i'll actually link my uh, review and tutorial for it down below in the description freaking love this flat iron it's been working out so well um so i'm just gonna turn it on and it reaches the temperature within seconds it's very very quick <laughs> it's magnetic and it's like attaching onto my necklace. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a few random pieces and I'm just gonna twist them away from my face. It gives me a nice, quick, shiny little wave. Nice and quick. 
I generally find flat iron curls really irritating to do, but with the shape of the Dyson Corral, my hair kind of just glides through the machine and it creates a really contemporary beach wave. And the flexible plates conform around each hair strand, so I'm able to use less heat when styling my hair. And I also love that it's cordless. All right, so for the most part, we are done. As always, I will leave direct links to all of the hair tools that I use down below in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.